for here? For roundwood timber framing, when we lay out the foundations, um, we're not dissimilar to a lot of other buildings, um, especially if we're working with a, um, a building that is in its basic form square or rectangular. Once we start to deviate from that, obviously our foundations have to move away from the traditional use of right angles to find the exact corners of the building. So for a usual layout, we'll lay out string lines and use a 3-4-5 triangle to create um, right angled string lines running across all four sides of the building. Even when the building is curving, we'll still start with that as our form because if we've got an internal rectangle or square, we can measure back out from it to other points when we're laying out for the foundations. Each pad stone has a number and a letter on it. And the letters represent the frames we're making on the framing bed. So you'll have row A, row B, row C, row D, and each of those will correspond to the particular frame we're working on. So for example, frame C, might have five pad stones running along the parallel length of it. So the laying out is quite critical to be sure that um, everything we build on the framing bed comes up in the right place. However, in this type of building, there's always a slight degree of fluctuation and therefore we build our pits that we compact the stone in slightly larger than we need to. So if we do need to adjust the pad stone by a few millimeters, we have that flexibility to do it. <laughs> now, on this particular site, we um, basically have an alkaline soil. Um, it's chalk based. And although we could compact the chalk in order to get better results from the engineer and satisfy building control, we've gone for a limestone scalping, um, which we've compacted. So we've got a cubic meter of limestone scalpings compacted here. We use a jumping jack compactor um, and really whack this down. So you've got this firm pit of stone. Then on top of that, we put a Yorkstone slab or a, a natural stone slab, which has similar strength to York. This is actually a sawn slab. It's a secondhand um, sawn slab. Um, sometimes we use um, more riven slabs, which are a little more uneven, but still quite possible to work with. So we need to make sure that we've got a level slab. Once we're happy that that slab is level in all directions, then this is where we'll take our measurement from. Um, and this is where the, the foot of each particular pole coming down from the building will sit. Can you see that? Can you, can you see the cross wires? There's like a, a cross very fine cross when you're looking through the viewer yeah. and that that is that's where you're you're looking at where that lines up on the right. uh -huh. staff yeah? yeah so that that's how we take a measurement so that gives us a, a datum point and then we'll move on to the next stone and take another measurement and um, work out the difference between the okay. two okay. and what is actually going to be important is the difference between the datum point and the other ones mm -hmm.